Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa with 1S, but you can call me Mel. And today I will be doing a voiceover and talking about some DIY plant shelves that I've done and also plant decor. For plant shelf number one, it is located in my bedroom over my bed. It is five feet tall and six feet wide. I like the idea of it being almost like a headboard, so it frames my bed. I made it with two by tens, so I cut them in three pieces, uh, bought the wood in Home Depot, it was affordable, and then used L-shaped brackets um, that are very durable and can hold the weight of uh, multiple terracotta pots, as you see over top. And I just found screws in my toolbox that I have not been using so I just reused whatever I had uh, and it fits the bracket so that was helpful able to sell, save money there so there are two brackets on either side because it is 10 inches wide it is helpful to let it balance on its own now the pots, there are some that I added a few decorative pieces. So this one has a tin can that I got at the dollar store. I think it was like $3. Super cute. I love the idea of just plopping a plant in there, making it look like a plant pot and a decorative. This one I also bought at the dollar store. I think it was about three, $4. And I love this one because it had the accent of the wood as the handle on either side and it does have kind of like a mesh underneath so it's not solid at the bottom um, but again it, I, I like the color scheme of browns and tin and the terracotta I think it all comes together to add some more height I placed a wooden crate on its side and this way I was able to add a couple more small plants over top and I love this idea because those two plants are vining plants so I can just imagine once they get more mature they're able to hang on either side. Now on this side of the shelf I have three plants in terracotta pots ranging from about 8 to 10 inches maybe even 12 so I made sure that the shelf was at least 10 inches that way I wouldn't have to worry about the saucers going over the edge. Moving on to plant shelf number two. So this one is located in my living room. I call it my plant corner. I love it so much. This is a shelf that I made with my boyfriend. It's about four feet in length and we used two by tens and two by twos as the posts. For the hardware, we did use some screws that I found in my toolbox. So it's about six screws per side. And then in addition to that, we bought some small L-shaped brackets to reinforce the bottom of the shelves, as you see here, just to provide that extra reassurance that it will stay together, uh, because this is obviously my first shelf that I put together for my plants and in general. If you haven't checked out my video on my plant mom journey, I do talk about how I started with this shelf and to where I am now. So it's really neat to see uh, how far I've come with all the creative ways that I have found to display my plants. Not only do I love my plants on this shelf, my plants also love this shelf because it is effective and efficient, providing them ample amount of light throughout the day. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have made a DIY plant shelf. Next up we have some DIY plant stand ideas that I have been using. Here I have two plants on two tall glass cylinder vases. At the bottom I have some white clear marbles just to provide some weight at the bottom. And then at the top I have one that has a terracotta saucer and then one that has a tin bucket. I liked how this was an easy way to give my plants more height, especially for the smaller plants. The other neat piece is that it provides the illusion that the plants are floating. It's a very simple design, not busy, and it brings the eye directly to the plant. Here's a full view of the plant stand. 
The next plant stand was actually restored and rescued because someone left it in the garbage room at my apartment building. All I had to do was buy some dollar store white paint and just touched it up, cleaned it up, and it looks good as new. So I'm so glad that I found this because it is a free plant holder. I also have the option of painting it a different color if I wanted to, depending on the home decor. So I think that that's a great way to reuse this decorative piece for my plants. This plant stand also makes it easy and convenient to move the plant closer or further from the window. Here's a full view of the plant stand. Now for this next plant stand DIY, I still have some work to do on it, but I did want to show it to you in this video. I decided to convert this bar stool into a plant decor piece. I love the idea of having this bar stool as a plant stand because as this Brazil philodendron matures, I could allow it to vine down the stool and around the legs. I think it would look gorgeous. The bottom part I turned into a second shelf by cutting out a piece of cardboard to fit the space. This was just a random thought because I had so many cardboard boxes available and I just thought, okay, I can reuse this cardboard somehow. And I think it turned out to be a great idea. In the meantime, I have a piece of corkboard on top just to provide a little bit more of a leveled surface because it is a cushion at the top. In the future, I do want to replace the cardboard piece and the cushion for two wood pieces and then paint the stool white. In the comment section down below, let me know if you have any other DIY ideas that I can do with this bar stool. And here is the full view. Last but not least, for plant stand number four, this is going to be a more common plant decor idea. You probably have seen it on Pinterest. I put together two wooden crates. On the shorter side, I stacked them and I'm able to put plants on top, in the middle and at the bottom. The inside of the wooden crate would be more for my plants that can tolerate lower light. The good thing about this plant stand idea is that it has a lot of options. You can stack the wooden crates on the shorter side, you can stack them on the longer side. I think it could also fit into different areas in your home. For example, you could have it as a nightstand beside your bed, you can have it in your living room with a lamp on top, you could bring it outside, you can have it at your front entrance to greet your guests. Your options are endless with this plant stand idea. And to top it all off, it is also affordable. So for one crate, it's $10 at Walmart, so $20 in total for this plant shelf, plant decor. I mean, if you compare it to Ikea, I would say it's definitely more affordable. And again, you have those options, right? If you get tired of it looking one way, you can switch things up and make it look another way. You can also add wooden crates one by one as your plant collection starts to grow. You can make it look like a box, you can make it look like Tetris, you can make a pyramid out of these. It's pretty awesome because you could just move them around depending on how tall or short your plants are. And here is the full view of this wooden crate plant stand. Alrighty, so just to wrap things up, I have here all four plant stands together. I think they look so good because of the different levels. Now let's just pretend that the black stool is white and I think it just all works together. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you've done some DIY plant decor ideas. I'd love to hear about them. Thank you so much for your support and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!